Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up dual monitors on your Windows PC or laptop. So I went ahead and bought one of these um, just monitors off of Amazon that I'm going to connect to my laptop. And it's very easy to do so. So a lot of these are going to have like some sort of like HDMI port on the side here. Or maybe if you have like a normal monitor, like a 27 inch or something like that, you'll have a display port now that's common. So you just have to find the connection method and then connect it to your PC. So this one is a mini HDMI. So I have a mini HDMI to HDMI cable for this monitor and it came with the portable monitor. And then if you look at my laptop on the back here, there is an HDMI port directly right here. So all I have to do is plug this in just like this and then plug the other end into my portable monitor. And depending on how you're doing it um, to power your monitor, you'll probably plug it directly into the wall outlet. Otherwise, there's going to be like a little USB-C to USB-C that you can plug into your laptop for power to. And then you just plug it in right here. And then it's going to be connected to your PC. So on my PC right now, I have three uh, monitors. So I got one, two, and three. And I'll show you how that looks in the settings. So let's go to my desktop now. And when you're on the desktop, just right click and open this up. And we can go on down to where it says display settings. And when we're under display settings, uh, we should see the monitor pop up. Just go to identify and you can see one, two, and three. So if I go to um, maybe my first monitor and I hit identify now, uh, you should be able to see this giant two on it. So let's see if it pops up on the screen. So I know that it's monitor two right there. So I can go back here. So I can rearrange these now to just get them in order. So I know monitor number one is in the middle. Otherwise, uh, when you try to scroll to the side right here, it's going to go to the wrong way. You know what I mean? So if you're going from this screen to my next screen, you want it side by side. So it's a fluid motion right over to the screen and it's not going the opposite way. Now you do have options where you can like, um, you can drag this monitor above, just like this. Maybe you want it above, maybe you want it below, maybe you want it half on the side or something like that. Now, once you have this set up the way you want, hit apply, and then it should be applied. Now, if you look at these different options, you have to decide what you want to do for your main monitor. Uh, so you can ex uh, extend the displays, which is probably what you want to do. So you can just go from one monitor to the next seamless. You can duplicate the desktop on display one and two or duplicate on one and three, or you can disconnect the display. So just go on down to extend the display. That's probably what you want to do. And once you have it set up, some of the resolutions might not be correct. So you can see one and two are, I think these are 4K monitors. I can just scroll on down. I can look under here real quick. I think if I go to advanced options, it will tell me. So I can see their 4K right here. And then I can also change the refresh rate too. So if you got like a 44, 144 hertz monitor, you can try upping that right here. And some of these, you might have to lower the resolution to get 144 hertz. So if it's at 4K, you might have to drop it down to 2K or something like that. And you can change through your different monitors too. So I can go to this one. This one is 1080p. And I should have the option under here to increase the refresh rate to 120. Uh, for some reason, I don't see it right now. So I'll have to look at that later on. So we can go back to my display now. And uh, if our dis uh, if our screen scaling is off, like uh, on monitor one and two and three, and not everything is going to align correctly, you'll have to change the scaling uh, per uh, individual monitor you go to based off of your resolution size. So with that, we can uh, change the scaling. So you can see this one is 100%. And this is going to change your UI and all the different icons and your text. So you can just get everything matched up correctly. So this scaling is 200% on my 4K monitor. And then I have a set to uh, just 100% on my uh, 1080p monitor. So it's very easy to set it up. And then you should be good to go. And you can go down uh, under multiple monitors right here. And you do have the option to go to connect to a wireless display. So let's say you got like a fire stick or something in the front room or something, 
and you want to connect to your Roku device or your Google TV or your LG TV. So you can see I have this option down here. I can connect to my LG TV. Uh, just put it into the pairing mode or whatever. Um, go to your Roku and turn it on. And it, I think it will just pop up under here. On your Fire Stick, you have to uh, specifically put it into the uh, the pairing mode or the screen mirroring mode. And then you should be able to pair it on over to your TV using your router. So very easy to do. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to your channel. Subscribe my channel down below.